Have you tried attracting people into your life before? Maybe with any kind of manifestation technique? If you have before, then did that technique work? Well, I don't know if that technique worked for you or not, but this one is going to. So if you want to try out a new technique which will work, then in today's video we are going to be discussing about that very ritual you can practice to bring about that person into your life very easily. All you need is a piece of paper, a pen, and confidence in this manifestation technique. So buckle up your seat and stick with me till the end of this video to find out about this very manifestation ritual to attract that specific person into your life. Hello and welcome back to my new video. If you are new to my channel, hello. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, many of you might think that this is a black magic or we are attracting that specific person through black magic. But no, this is not black magic. What we are going to do today is try to vibrate at the same energy level as the person that you are trying to attract, or better explained, we are trying to connect with them through vibrational energy. In this channel, we often deal with the law of attraction, the law of vibration, and other laws of the universe. And likewise, in this video, as well, we are going to discuss this very ritual on the basis of the law of attraction, the law of mentalism and telepathy. So, for all of you who are questioning whether this is a black magic or not, there is the answer for you. Now, let's move on to the ritual itself. So, the first step is to jump in into the energy level that we are going to manifest in. So, for that we have to think about the specific person that we are trying to attract. Maybe you are trying to attract a lover, or a friend, or any kind of business partner. Think about that person and have a clear picture of them in your head. Once you have had a clear picture of them in your head, write this affirmation down on a piece of paper. I already have it. I know who it is. You can even go and bring out references about that person for this very ritual, because it will really help you to manifest that person into your life easily. Now, just a reminder that for this ritual, you have to find a quiet place. So, if you are not in a quiet place right now, or when you are practicing this ritual before bed, then go and find a quiet place before you start. Now, the second step is very important. In this step, what you are going to do is take a clear page and write your name on one corner of the paper, and the person's name that you are trying to attract on the other corner of the paper, after this, circle both of yours name and connect those two circles with the line. Now again, this might seem like black magic, but no, it is not. What we are doing is, we are connecting vibrations or vibrational energy as we are connecting the two circles. Now you might even have a question about how is this related to connecting energies or how is it going to help us attract that specific person into our life? Well. Think about it, if you have knowledge about the laws of the universe, or if you even have a little bit of information about what the law of attraction is, you know that it is about attracting something into your life by vibrating at same level and connecting with their energies or any other thing's energy, mostly our desires, right? So for that, what do we do? We affirm, we feel gratitude towards different things. We visualize that thing existing in our life right? The same thing is being done in this technique by doing all of these rituals or by writing our name and connecting the two circles, we are making our subconscious mind focus on one thing and give our subconscious mind signal about how important we are consciously conceiving this thing. To sum it up, this is a way of sending a signal to our subconscious mind. So if you do this before bedtime, then it is very likely that you are constantly going to think about that person as you are drifting off to sleep. And I think every one of you know how important it is to utilize the time before drifting off to sleep. Now, if you don't know about that, then I will link a video in the description. Go and watch that video, which is about Neville Goddard's sleep technique. This technique has been really helpful for me, as well as for many people practicing this technique. Now, let's return to our ritual. So, once you have connected those two circles, write your desire above the line and fold it and keep it under your pillow. 
Now, when you are sleeping on the same pillow above that paper throughout the night time, what happens is that your vibrational energy tries to connect with that person's vibrational energy. So it is all happening behind the scenes in the cosmos. The thing is, the universe is constantly trying to connect both of yours vibration and is trying its best to bring it into the same vibrational level. Now, why is this important? Well, it is important because if we are trying to attract some person into our life, it is very essential that both person have the same vibrational energy, otherwise the interaction is not going to work out. You might have even noticed this, maybe sometimes when you are very happy and excited about different things, and when you explain your happiness to anybody else who is not vibrating at the same level as you, you just don't connect, right? So, for us to have that connection, we have to make sure that both the sender and the person receiving the vibration invitation or the person that we are trying to attract vibrate at the same energy level. Now, many of you might have doubtful or any other negative emotions about the person that you are trying to attract. Well, if you want to remove that doubtful emotion related to that person, then we are going to practice an emotion releasing technique called tapping technique. For this technique, what you are supposed to do is firstly close your eyes and tap at the middle of your dominant hands, palm multiple times, and simultaneously repeat the conflicting emotion to that negative emotion. For example, if you are trying to attract a particular business partner and are trying to attract a particular phone call from a business partner, and you are having conflicting emotion or doubtful emotion about that person not calling or discussing about that business, then you can say, I have a very doubtful thought that you will not call, but I want to think that you will call to discuss about the particular business. Or if you are trying to attract a specific person or a loved one, then you can say, I have a feeling that we are not going to connect, but I would like to believe that we will talk and connect and become closer. Repeat this multiple times, reinforcing the belief deep into your subconscious mind as your eyes is closed and you are focused on attracting that person. Now let's talk about some special points in your body which will help release these negative emotions. The first point is the eyebrows. Gently press on your eyebrows while looking up, down, left and right and think about the negative emotion that is arising. Let it slowly fade away as you are replacing that negative belief with a positive one. Now, slowly radiate, try to radiate that negative emotion in different parts of your body, like collarbones and armpits, and do the same thing, release that negative emotion. Repeat this tapping technique a few times to completely release the negativity. Lastly, believe in what you are doing, address each and every negative emotion, and release it the same way that you released other negative emotions through tapping technique, or through different points of your body. Repeat this technique of putting the names under the pillow and releasing negative emotion from different parts of the body or through the tapping technique for about three days. But remember, do not be attached from this manifestation technique or from the desired outcome. If you become attached, then it is very likely that this technique is not going to work. Simply make this ritual a daily habit for about three days and see the magic unfold that is all for today. If you like this video then do not forget to check out this channel for more contents like this. I post everything interesting for you to witness and grab knowledge. Therefore do not miss out on anything post in the channel. By saying this we have come to the end of this video. If you have come this far, I thank you for listening to me. If you liked this video, press that like button down below and share it with your friends and family. It would mean a lot to me if you even subscribe to my channel for more contents like this. Thank you.